As a foreigner of Indian origin, living in Mumbai, being of an eligible age and having surfed the scenes through dating apps, I'd like to share my thoughts on the Netflix show Indian Matchmaking. It's a small amuse bush to start with. It's very nice. Many have watched it and enjoyed it. Others have strong issues with it. We'll get there. Firstly, one thing that we can all agree on, Aparna is a b And the only person in the world that disagrees is probably Aparna. Uh, there's nothing about me that I think um, I need to change or evolve or grow into. Many of us are or know someone that is in this marriage phase and that made it a really relatable show to watch. Personally, I found it intriguing to see how people go about these arranged marriage setups, like what bio data actually say and what kind of formats people actually present themselves in. And I realized that it's just an older manual version of Bumble. I mean, you get to choose from a catalog of human beings. You get to cite your preferences. Uh, someone hopefully who's tall. I can we get gender equality to talk about problems that short guys face? Uh, heightism? Is that a word? Anyways, I don't know why being with a shorter man is considered stooping low. I'm not bitter, I'm just 5'6". You get to go on dates, some go for hookups. Okay, I grew up now and then. Really upset that that one didn't work out. Sometimes you create lasting bonds with people. Yeah, apparently none of the couples shown worked out, but that's sort of like Bumble too. Even though there are low success rates, the thrill of options and pursuit, it keeps us going. The difference here is that families can openly vouch for casteism. But we're Cindy, so I prefer North Indian. And parents have a big pick in deciding who you swipe right for. We are not sure who we will pursue with this one. Not as casual as Bumble, but the biggest difference though is that on Bumble, you see how people want to showcase themselves in their truer forms. Whilst in biodata, there's family filters all over. Hence, on Bumble, when people have the freedom of presenting themselves, you can gauge what trends and patterns are actually present within the young adults in our society. Like during this lockdown period, a lot of people have something like this in their bios. Pandemic brought me here or only here because of the lockdown. Acha, okay, because otherwise you were cool and life was happening, yeah. Yeah, true, true. Other things that are common are things like Friends, The Office, and Brooklyn Nine-Nine. That's definitely been trending in people's bios. I've also noticed that people don't like to think. They would much rather be given options to choose from. Hence, questions like Netflix or nightclubs and beaches or mountains are the most common answered questions on Bumble profiles. However, the most notable observation for me is that a lot of people are 420 friendly. Okay, marijuana is becoming huge in India. It's one of the easiest icebreakers and comfort zone inducers I have ever come across. He smokes up and all, he's a chill guy. A throwable estimate of 70 to 80% of people I have matched with are 420 friendly. Some have it on their profiles, for others it comes up in conversation. But yeah, it seems like a good handful of the population engage in these activities. Going on romantic dates is becoming outdated. Speaking of, let's take a moment to reflect on how my man Srini did not read the room correctly when he took Aparna for an axe throwing session. Like, buddy. See, nowadays it's more of a, Acha, you have mal. How are you getting mal during the lockdown? Really want to smoke, yeah. Yeah, let's meet up and smoke a dube, no? In Mumbai, it is more romantic to present a woman with a fine old joint than a rose. The only thing higher than young adults in Mumbai is Akshay's mom's BP. My BP is high. Look, look Akshay, frame it. So what I gather from these similarities and differences is that there are some rigid discriminatory preferences that families have when they look at biodata. But from exploring Bumble, I see that people are a lot more open-minded when they choose for themselves. So the show isn't propagating patriarchy, it just shows cases where it is prevalent in reality. But it also shows cases where it is changing, where we see that modern people think differently and even being alone is okay. Being a financially independent, modern woman in today's Indian society is difficult, but I feel great. The mindsets and ways of older generations are getting diluted with time and when it is our chance to get our children married, we will be flexible and it won't be a compromise. It is only a matter of time before love ultimately wins. All in all, interesting show. Some people think it's shitty content, but my friends, it worked. You watched it. You're just bitter about someone else's success. 
And so we pray for your healing, your sick disease individual. Let me know your thoughts and comments below. What are some trends you've noticed on dating apps? <laughs> the bubble of attraction. Just gonna get Pandit Ji's advice. Can you tell the people a bit about me so that they follow my pages? See, khushi, aur rone wale ko bhi hasane ka lakshan. Ekdam sahi hai. Kudafis, cheers, toodles. <laughs>